What's up guys, this is Mandala on Mandala Loves Jesus and today I'm going to speak on does my opinion matter and the thing is there are so many different opinions if you're looking on street preaching um, people that are non-believers, believers it's all fragmented all over the place between people that say that are claiming to be Christians and so you have those thousands and thousands of different opinions of what is actually truth and what is right and what is wrong and that's a very dangerous situation and what I want to explain is your opinion on, on itself doesn't matter at all the only case where your opinion is relevant is if your opinion is equal to the opinion of God. So if, if God says it's, it's black and you say it's black, your opinion is backed up by authority, by the most high authority. That's what counts. And if you say it is white and God doesn't agree, by his own judgment, on your judgment, you're out of the game. And when you're out of the game with your opinion, your, your false opinion will only lead you to more lies and will lead you basically uh, to hellfire and to condemnation. That's where false opinions will lead you. And if you are promoting false ideas, it's it will condemn you even faster because if you're not humble uh, if you're not humbly seeking the glory of God in everything you do and you're seeking to present your own opinion or you are seeking to promote your church as the true church you know as a pastor for example um, trying to show the others that you are wiser or that you your opinion is more important or that you have the truth and the other don't so if you if if you have any attachment to proud within your teachings or within your promotioning or if you are f feeling like I'm 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 a I'm part of the elite because I'm I'm a Christian and you're not a Christian and you need me you know if if you feel like that you are above uh, another one uh, or you feel like uh, whatever arrogant way above the other person or that you think you have more value than another soul then you are out of the game and then then you are uh, stuck into opinions that are not representing the truth and and that will cause a whole lot of trouble in your life and can lead you to uh, eternal damnation because that means that you you don't know God for one thing it does also mean that you don't know the value of souls if you would know the value of soul you would know that the soul of your brother has equal value to your own soul and that every everything that is created by God it's himself um, shares his own value and his own qualities and that is why Christ gave his life to open up heaven for us because because we share the creator's sparkle as a, as creations as beings you know and and we 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 were created in his image and we are created in his his image and this is a justification for our value. It's not because of what we are doing, it's because of the quality that we have embedded by our own Creator that justifies why He values us highly, because He has a, a, a high self-esteem and we are part of what He wants to return to His own, you know? only that gave us the gift of free will to make our own decision on where we want to spend eternity but going back to the opinion 
your opinion really doesn't matter if it's not aligned with the will of God and if it's aligned it will bring good fruit and if it doesn't if it's not aligned it it won't bring any good fruit it will only bring anxiety and more confusion and more people with more different opinions there will be no unity and no peace you won't see any spiritual gifts or fruits in work and deed and well that's that's about it and and what difference does it make it, the difference that it does make is if your opinion is out of the will of god and out of the truth of god then it makes a difference for your own salvation or for your own condemnation and if your opinion is aligned with uh, with uh, the father then it will uh, carry you to eternal salvation and you have to uh, I wanna encourage you to make sure that when you are standing up for something that it's uh, just judgment that you are that you're executing and that you're sure when you are standing up for something that's the right thing to stand up to and that you start to question your beliefs in right or wrong and and that you challenge yourself and 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 that you go into your bible and use your bible as a as a mirror to reflect on it and to prove if you if what you think is the truth really is backed up by by the inspired word of god which is your bible so so go in your King James Bible and find if you're not sure if you are representing the truth, find something that backs up what you're doing. And you have to know it by context, knowing the whole story of the whole Bible. It's not enough if you find only a line that backs up what you're trying to justify. Because if you're going only by verses or a line, everyone can back up anything, you know. That's just like taking whatever contract out of context, you know, and the Bible has a legal character, so so you better bear that in mind, and and it's 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 very important that you understand that that your salvation is coupled and and connected to your opinions, to the formation of your opinions, and whether you follow there. And there are many people that are making images of of what God is to them. So everyone, or many people that claiming Christians also, there are a lot of, of people that are making their own uh, image of God. They are making uh, their own idol of God. They make their own expectations of how love works and how God works. And they make like a mask of God, you know, and they are trying to limit uh, life itself because God is life but God is not only life God is also love and God is also wrath and God is also uh, war and peace and everything that exists in a balanced and ordered way you know so when God has wrath against you it's just wrath it's not it's not chaotic wrath, you know, and if God offers you peace, it's just peace, it's ordered peace that is backed up by, by a just judgment, it's not, it's not chaotic, that's, that's the difference between the wrath of the devil and the wrath of God, both have wrath and both have their different ways to approach us only that one is completely chaotic and and selfish and the other one is just and is ordered and is not chaotic in any way you know so if 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 there are people that think that that god has no wrath and if you are a sinner and you are lying to yourself and thinking that there is no wrath and that god is only love that's like just being blind looking only on one aspect of a person I can assure you that, that if you are a sinner and you, you are not repentant, 
that God is only wrath for you until you become a son of him. So while the other side is that the devil is playing the game completely uh, wise, uh, in contrary, that the devil makes you believe that he gives you peace and he gives you richness of the world and that you can live in, a, in peace uh, according to the lusts of the body so the, the, the devil offers you that you have everything that your body needs but at the same time he's sabotaging your soul and that's how, how it works so God on one hand is asking us to deny this world to prove us worthy to enter into his kingdom and to hang on to the soul and to have life in spirit while the devil wants us dead in spirit and he, he, wants, uh, he wants our soul and that's why he wants us dead in spirit so, so we don't have any life to defend ourselves in the spirit realm and, and that's why he wants to give everything to the body and to the lusts of the body and the pleasure of the body so, so we keep stuck in this world basically and he knows that as long as we are stuck in this world that we can't be of any use for, for the Most High God and that it's easy to overwhelm us the moment we die and that's what he is doing. So, so, so to resume it, your own opinion is completely irrelevant. It's only relevant if you are aligned with the will of God. And if your opinion is in contrary to God, you are, you are promoting uh, the chaos of Satan and you are uh, knowing or unknowingly becoming an agent of Satan or have been an agent of Satan all your life until yet maybe. And I pray that that will change with looking at these videos uh, in Jesus' name, Father. And and that it only makes a difference for your own salvation that if your opinions are aligned with with your King James Bible then then you are heading to heaven and if you are following this ideal with seal you are you are heading straight to heaven and if you are uh, uh, treasoning this uh, ideal of the Most High God and of the model of Jesus Christ as he walked the earth then you are heading to hell fire and and so so be careful not to make any idols or to make your own image of how God is or what expectations you have from God you have to prove everything on your world model how you think religion works out and everything with your uh, inspired word of God with your King James Bible you have to prove it against it so you can rest in peace and rest assured that's, that's, uh, that you are aligned in truth. And once you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will give you the peace knowing that you are within the rules of God and he will guide you. So you don't, you don't need the, the Bible all the time at your side to, to prove against your consciousness because once you have the author, the author which is the Holy Spirit, which is the author of the Bible, that's sufficient to prove what you're, what you are, what you are trying to, to discern, and 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 that's about it. So. So to to close it up, the it all goes down to salvation. And there are many people that say, uh, can you lose your salvation, can't you lose your salvation, uh, once saved, always saved, and all that stuff. And the truth is, um, once you are really saved, um, you are always saved and you are sealed on the earth. But to be saved uh, permanently, that there are different things that will happen. One is the devil will try to make you believe that you are saved even you are, if you are not and he will make you he will try to make you think that even if you are sinning that you still can be saved which is a lie. You cannot be sinning and be saved at the same time. It can only happen that you think that you have been saved but you haven't been saved 
in the first place so you just deceived of the state of salvation that's like like someone who thinks he's loving his his girlfriend but in the end he, he he found out that he fell in love with her but he never loved her you know it's not the same being uh, in the state of being fallen in love with someone like everything is in the clouds and everything is so nice and f fluffy it's not the same like being in a loving relationship built on trust you know and built on dedication and compromise and a compromise that uh, is so strong that it's uh, that it uh, even superiors uh, death you know if you're compromising beyond this life with something or someone that's when things get really serious and not when you feel attracted to someone or you know just being fallen in love with a girl that it looks nice it doesn't have a physical attraction doesn't have anything to do with true love in a relationship and the same thing applies to people that are confused and think that they are saved because of some attractions or some inspirations that came to their mind that wasn't even inspired by God so so be careful and pray over it you should pray over any of these issues and the only the only situation where you will know 100% guaranteed that you are saved is when you pass the first death which means when you already died and when God confirms to you that you are on the on, on the bright side and that you are not uh, condemned for eternity that's when you know guaranteed that you are saved nevertheless when you have the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit will give you feedback the, the the spirit of god will give you feedback and and will assure you at moments of life when you are fighting against the devil that you are saved in this very moment where you're making the, the when you are consulting the holy spirit when you are like I, am i okay and the holy spirit may put your mind to rest that if you would die the very same moment that you are saved that's possible but that, that doesn't mean that if you are if you are losing your dedication willfully to heading into the direction of the perfect model of Jesus that you are not able to lose this state of salvation so you still have your free will and as long as your free will isn't in, uh, engraved on Jesus you still are able as a creature to change your mind as God also is able to change his mind on you so so you have to bear that in mind okay I think that's about it be blessed in Jesus name and 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 just keep following Jesus and and take it seriously and be in repentance and and I pray in Jesus name father that any person that looks at this video gets inspiration and and gets aligned and and stops idolizing uh, you and and re take their approach or refresh their approach on how you really are and that means you have to take away all the lies everything that's shady or that's not for certain you have to take it away to look at the core of it and to look at the core of the teachings of Jesus so just read the red letters in your New Testament until you have the fog drawn off the, the screen so be blessed in Jesus name Amen <laughs>